Лабля фоуэр скахни госоуэр Цнгамэр дэснёнэгуи суспэр Вингвиану гогло Civil War. Okay. Uh, uh, it was called. Cormac uh, will do this bilingually as we go along, as far as possible. Mostly in Irish, but in English as well. And um, uh, the Civil War, some, some people called it Cog and the Garrett, the war be between friends. Which it was, in a sense. Others called it Cog and the Maroha, the war between brothers. Mind you, there was no talk of the sisters. But, and, and the sisters were very much involved, like, I mean, on the Republican side. Muriel, uh, Muriel, uh, uh, McSweeney, and Mary McSweeney, of course. And the rest of them, a lot of the women were involved, especially, especially on the Republican side. I never heard Kogona, Ninirafora, or whatever. But what they used to call it in 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 Melbo, near Galway, according to Thomas Lyle, who was a great speaker, a great Shalafi, and a good writer as well. Uh, and uh, he gave a lot of information to Thomas de Waldry uh, of the dictionary. But anyway, what the, what the old folks used to call it, he says, around Mimba was Congo and TK, the war of foolishness, the war of folly. Uh, and I'd imagine that was near enough the mark as well, you know what I mean, when you look back. But anyways, I'm not going to, to judge that. Uh, Cormac would do that. Cormac O'Corey, then I'm going to start here as far as the seed, be lie. Much of it, it's got to be the Captain Brewery. I've just stayed here for years and think I've been talking to Sir Sugar Hyde. I've just yelled at people for shame. I just want to end up, I guess Ashley is constantly, is constantly reading the book. I've just seen the shame. Um, Coco Carga Gunamara is an army, Coco Cori, one of the best uh, history writers in the country at the moment, young, young generation, and uh, teaches in the Comprehensive School in Nicaragua. He will do Um, Coco Carga Gunamara, Agus an army. And uh, bilingually, later you might ask a few questions around, you know, what he talks about I'm sure is relevant to the rest of the country, you know, uh, later you can ask a few questions and ch hopefully challenge them on certain things as well. That's very important uh, here. Uh, so, all right. Uh, right, come on, Joe. Um, right, I'm going to talk about the Gunnamara and the Gunnamara and the Gunnamara and the Gunnamara and the Now, um, when the game up is in the hand, two languages, and it's hard to judge how long it's played. Just what they catch is a bit different. There's no question, there's no, there's no problem with that. You know, asking me for a short to clarify something at the end is easy to forget. It's language, but I mentioned something in, uh, for example. Right, so go hard to it, anyways. Carlin needs already a little more to go to the guide. Sinai, 
So Colomara and Galway, in, in a general sense, are sort of a, a mid-ranking area uh, in terms of um, the activity and uh, dual war dependence. Okay, not as much as Munster, more than a lot of areas in Midlands, in the Midlands and Leinster, for example. Okay, uh, when the split comes in 1941, 22, um, it's probably a series of splits, nearly more than one split, because people bounced over and and, and you know come back from one side or just because someone started on one side finished the civil war on that side for various reasons. And uh, there's an awful lot of confusion. There was a, sort of a general sense of euphoria when the uh, treaty was signed first, uh, and that was tempered very, very quickly by when people started reading the details, local officers went and opposed the treaty. Uh, sometimes when, it's, when, when people saw who supported the treaty, that had an alien effect as well, so it kind of pushed them towards the anti treaty side. Okay, now, Kawatu, um, the Kulamara, uh, are with the fourth western division. Okay, the so which is small. Uh, well, Kulamara, the fourth western. Uh, the Oral, or Kangi, the Kahan, the Gaida, the Kishish is the uh, first western. Okay, okay, from Ira Okay. Um, Erdiba Wong, Erdiba Pierstoy, and his son of Hunter, he made a lot of drying on, and he just got that as a studio. And his comfort, and he's Connemara, we gave everybody's ever Connemara. It's a black session that's in Gunner, it's a soft split, black session in Gunner. It's been a call for some IRB in the on, and his lower odds be funded for some of some IRB. Erwaha, that's in the packet of all of Gunner. Okay? And Erdiba, the PG McDonald. PJ McDonald as a lean on, a Vianaya Honra, the Shaposta, the Trifurgo, the Kilroy, and the Rio Comfort on Port Western Division. The McDonald, the Law is a Vianaya Honra. Now, a few people in the Shiro should be Mule Swiss in the operation. So, we're at the Mock Cullen, Vina Hogley, Vianaya Honra, with Oracle, and with Small. Um, I guess, uh, the part of all the attack at all, also as here for the matter, we should a son of one. Okay, I guess to claim on brand new Aaron Coca Carga, uh, pressure from our squids is your on drab be quick enough, loose from Hobbiton, and some drab that we ride upon the brand new at such an east cast in the It's more complicated uh, when you look at the personalities that propose and our support treaty. Uh, merely the more radical uh, uh, elements of, of Sinn Féin and the IRA being most in treaty and more conservative elements supporting that. That's a factor. For example, you also had uh, people who were, who were socially conservative, uh, anti treaty uh, for various reasons, and then you had people who were, uh, you know, who had been involved in land education, land education, land violence, and the like, supporting the treaty for various reasons. Okay? So, um, Nish, uh, Hagen, the real Hagen assertion, who will need to go get it? Be the lower farthing along, the one that could see power. Okay, so there was a lot of land violence early in 1920, right? I guess hard blows at the public to have some knowledge, right? And we begin to see a couple of them. You're in fully not characters here. I guess we should be rule into not not. Years old, right? 
uh, you know, roles over land, roles over individual fields, roles within families. Uh, some of it uh, sectarian and uh, are opportunistic. Okay, literally, uh, if anybody who's vulnerable is now in danger. Some of it then uh, was uh, uh, was also, in a general sense, politically motivated from the ideological perspective, in a sense. And uh, people like Park and Wall, who are treated talk about uh, restoring the land of Ireland to the rightful owners, which is basically the Irish population, right? You know, it, it, you know, it wasn't just a free for all. Uh, Nemo Flaherty, uh, here from the Iron Islands, was criticized uh, by someone on, on the left wing for, you know, uh, I think the, the description was he uh, was saying things like authoritarian IRA rather than, you know, be, you know sticking uh, uh, completely to uh, you know, kind of what was being agreed by the Communist International. Okay. Uh, you've arguments, uh, you've a criticism being made of the Labour Party, for example, they are talking about all farms being the same as if they're all property owners, ignoring the reality of the ground. There was tens of thousands of, of uh, farmers living uh, hand to mouth, uh, particularly along the Western Seaboard, and this, this kind of thing. But all this uh, stuff is uh, up for grabs. It's also a period of intense uh, or a massive unemployment right, across the country. Okay. We go the lower, the lower to your stick on. Okay. I guess uh Laura took a meaning to hide your honey for either on eight foot down. Uh I guess we should do for a post it all Laura to communicate with him. I think you know I can all shut me out and you could all comfort an IRA and not be a passive trainer and actually be the car from a fleet on the eight foot open or a raw for lost him. Okay. Um I guess um uh in buying take him a flat Uh, um, by 
Free State Forces, the Guards, or the, the Army in Republican controlled areas. So, for example, when a gang of lads from the Iron Islands were being controlled the city, I mean, this Free State Army, they're arrested by the IRA uh, uh, in the city. Well, what happens? You know, it's kind of a row, arguments about it, and always it's the same pattern. And in a couple of days, uh, you know, kind of let it out again. Okay, it's symbolic more than actively looking for a confrontation. Okay, uh, no, uh, the Larmore and our government are going to hold the be nigh upon them. I guess Fagan, Marshin, Gun, Gun Arm, Nervisha the Gak, Nervisha the Kuli, Fagan Hold, most of Arm are probably on that ship. Okay, so the, the army, the national army that's created, is thrown together very quickly. Nations are often poor in barracks, black uniforms, problems with food, all this kind of stuff. As Colin was only not to look to soft mini, the region, no, and everything that in a sizary shop, a foot boss, uh, we're getting a fear from the public body, but in everything that in a sizary, the one that's an the foot boss, and if you do, if you take the car, you already sort of dollar, it's like these slides, it's marching set, right? So there's a major issue with health. For example, in, in the new national army, uh, and an awful lot of uh, guys they die from various elements in fact, stuff that wasn't treated properly in, in the first couple of years of, of, of getting it together, as you would expect, really, in an ar army that's been put together quickly. So, Marhamp, the Dinigan Dinigan for boss, prepared the band, John McDonough, as a manager in the shop, Erin uh, 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 right? Uh, the letters Kiri here for Skip Shock and Jin, right? Jin Law and Public Power and AC Kiri, right? This is a war and Kerry is a discussion for another day. Um, uh, right, uh, but anyway, um, uh, uh, McDonough, anyways, um, I let the letters manage to your ball around Jin, I guess. Uh, four session balls from Indian Kiri at three, or I believe Sloan said, you know, Bade or Mark, you know, um, Mary Oliver or Harry Shield. Uh, um, Tennis or anything like that, or so anything like that. And up to that fit, uh, um, go be in Vehef, Niji Fido, Hustle, Pugu Kahar, go walk in it. Go back in two sessions, go to Kahar. Uh, how does Banu get us in the public morning? Or Horace? Right, near Preachy, near Preachy, good Horace. We tell up and on, uh, me in Vehef, and she will take a view of Vehef, uh, Niji Fido, how does Fisher and Dow, tell up on the queue, and the queue reach, or the below. Okay. We suck with some help, and we found that you want to have a layer of humility. I was just happy to be here. So, we have traced these to my Koga Paragon in the Wheelish. So, we have traced these to my Koga in the Wheelish. So, we have traced these to my Koga in the Wheelish. So, we have traced these to my Koga in the Wheelish. So, we have traced these to my Koga in the Wheelish. So, anyway, Hustle and Three. I was a Hotel of Shots. Christy Mankin, the father of the Gaia. Um, Paris in law to be a Mac, uh, Matt the uh, Ministry Scud, August Fisher Hitchens, the Gulags of the Mopi, and just pick it up. The real public is here, she was a Jack to get on. Finish near us at the West Point, you know, a young man, you know, the first floor. I guess we should sort of die to get his brother, the Campy Trainer, Hug a Mac and Cheese for Nepal, it's Bucky, pushing a mock pudding, while it's a group of fire like here, and so many she's on seat, her. Uh, and Barry can arm, yeah, and be some more of the post to the neck of the recipe. Okay, so the honey shop market was to be and sugar was to be, uh, it's phase of an archer, I call my angel cheese, and both are a cheese hard tea jerk, right, and shop and shit, and my own help, right? So the shin launch was some cover power to go to the guy, to go to the man, but I buy the little man in it. Uh, I guess on a tea belly, we let it be some hope for the first, uh, to that, right? Uh, Warren Street did know much, uh, go and bury exclusively, I guess, uh, and should be smart on them, again, I read, on the model. Okay? Um, right, uh, Civil War starts, you can tell me starts in the uh, in, uh, a couple of days after the attack in the war books. Christy Mackin and I Raymond from here, uh, who's up and up, uh, Dublin comes down, gathers a bunch of men, and attacks. The only free state position in Connemara, uh, and that's in the side quite close to where you, where you got the ferry uh, in, uh, uh, in near us, right? Um, and after that, there's no free state position in Connemara for the next uh, until the end of August. Uh, I was telling Joe before I came in, 
uh, Freezer Army uh, landed in Clifton, in Inway Sea. And there's a story, I don't know who it is, but there's a story that uh, the, uh, the trip was a bit rough and the lads were also seasick. So I think they, they hate Clifton. They both just turned around and went back rather than having a bunch of lads that land up on the beach getting sick. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, uh, the Brunel at the Hall, the Treasure Shop, at Punsburg. No. Um, uh, the Comedy Keshni Mora, a one in the Treasure Shop, now Keshna Broadstone, the issue of, of those who are seen as being supportive of the British government as it, as it was in the British state. Now, uh, during this entire period, we have attacks on unionists, we have attacks on ex policemen, we have attacks on uh, people who are uh, supplied and found forces in the war on the tenants and, and that kind of thing. One of the most, uh, uh, you also had attacks that were, uh, uh, that were directed at uh, unionists, uh, some of them uh, sectarian, some of them not sectarian, some of them weren't intended to be sectarian, but that's how they were, they were perceived. Okay. And one of the most controversial things was an incident that happened near Clifton. Okay. I guess the uh, bonus up. Well, I'm sure about the right, the missionary Protestant at the time of Gunnar Sukhir. Okay. I guess we'd see them. The guy in the back of the other lad is going to carry the national symbol. I guess who the Irish we should put the first lad at the speed of. British, okay, the Hunsi and all. Now, there are a lot of three boys, so go on. If you go here, uh, not an Amish, but can't be there to be zero knocks in a day. Okay, and if they're falsely, that means classically, that's an error, that's an error. You should go to a bird shop, the Pima Sakara, I guess, the call of all the which are. Or in Zealand, I guess we should hate you, know, we should have marshaled uh, during the Union Jack or Mount Peace and Sharon, which August was marching so to speak. You know, made us an object of the hall to, you know, renew, uh, you know, the Horia, Trish, Gordon, and Ponsi are reaching a fuck on the need to feed him. So, for any quick, I'll do what came up as in Zealand, and his last account of that is on the destroyer, and his toll in the gas to show us in Zrambi, but it's not a toll not to. Uh, as in Gantra, I look at okay. It was explaining about the case of Bally Gurid, or who's a, a Protestant orphan, which he definitely was associated with uh, the Irish church missions, who were seen as people who were uh, taking advantage of poverty by the time of the famine in Africa to try and gain a boost of Protestantism. And there's this sort of sympathy towards him as a result. But also, um, uh, there were the area we were looking uh, at two individuals, they accused of spying. Uh, and uh, they were, uh, and when they weren't, you could, couldn't find them, the uh, boys often were just set on fire and uh, they all left, they were taken, they were taken off uh, in the destroyer and ended up in Australia eventually, right? Now, Eshka to be all, it was exceptional, right? If you look at the war of repentance uh, in the West, uh, instances of that kind, they're very, very rare. Right, there, there are obviously that, that's completely right, that's, that's, that's a one off. Uh, and uh, the most Protestants in the West of Ireland, or a ma massive number of them, went through the period without, without suffering any real depredation. Uh, that has to be said as well. And in, uh, interestingly enough, there was also a very small number of Protestants in the IRA uh, in Colmar, too. Right? Some of them who had actually, whose families had been. Heavily linked with the Irish Church missions. And uh, what has to be remembered in, with the, in the case of the Irish Church missions was that they were converting, the, the aim was to convert locals. So we had lads who were Protestants themselves, we had Catholic you know, neighbors, relatives. Some of them were hated, some of them, the relationship was very uh, you know, bitter, and some others they seemed to be fairly integrated. And it's those fellows, there's six of them that are gone, uh, 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 who are. All of their families were involved in some way with the Irish Church missions. The six of them, at, at least in terms of census, were Protestants. In, 19, in 1911, they were Protestants, whatever happened in the meantime. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and there were three sets, three sets of brothers, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Right? Uh, so they, so the, the, the story, you know, that this kind of, um, the, the relationship of the Irish Unionism, Protestantism, all this kind of stuff. 
very, very complicated. It's much more complicated than people think. All right. Um, right. No, he binds fresh in egg, uh, egg on uh, fourth Western division food, right? He sheets and poke eats, poke eats, she sauce to food, or moon, but everything the guy. The second Western division, uh, which is basically ran by Tom McGuire from South Mayo, right? Um, that uh, very, very quickly, that started to sort of fracture, right? And almost collapsed. Or a bunch of lads just resigned out of the area and started to war because they're not fighting. Some of them actually end up on the other, joining the other side. Yeah? Uh, and the boast of this, guys who sent home from Ara from Mayo, from Fort Western Division, Colonel the lads shall loom the heaven of the but the poem works in my area again. So we're going to have to unsew Barrick around Grugon, Craigon, Mount Bellu, right? Inclusive of the car, the Pelgus. And then he began his renunci, and I've heard about Gerald Barclays, Tap Ball, and William Ball, and Pregola, right? So she led this to a Kamui will be fragile as a nunci. Okay? Uh, Maguire, uh, if you move forward to the park, to the Polymer, you'll take a look at the lid, at the lid, at the lid, at the bath, at the heat from the public, right? Uh, so Connemara uh, men and male men are sent over to bolster the, the sort of the, the Irene East Boy sort of, and South Mayo, which is, you know, uh, in danger of sort of collapsing. I guess uh, on Shaid Ain, the Eganar, Eganar Nosh, the Armand Pierce, the Shaid Ain, the Athos, the Gogakar, the Smach, the All, and the Bides Mord. Okay. I guess Block Lee, the Tridium Block Lee, Ponchi Shelver Block Lee. I guess the bonus of we have an IRA, Bristol Block Lee, Athos, Smach, the Eganar, Air Block Lee, and Trap of your Gone. Portaric, uh, Lima, Cork, as Guy, the Bites in Smoke, Ponchy, Black and Shell, and the Bites in Shell. The initials reached the Pagans in Shaft and Wire, Sea Landings. Now, we kill on the song, we scale on our hold of an IRA, we took a Pini, Zero, and Wire. You can quit Michel, you're just not having anything. You're on trial of Apple, you're on Tahi Mila to Apple, you're not having anything. Yeah. So the, the, the Free State, the, the National Army, uh, basically starts seizing uh, and uh, occupying the city first of all, and then bit by bit from there. Right? Sometimes they involve coastal landings. Uh, that there was kind of a, an assumption made that the IRA didn't anticipate coastal landings. They did, just weren't in a position to be able to effectively combat back. Okay? And numbers, men, military experience. Yeah. Uh, I'll just say, uh, in the guy of it, on a cup of wool, a beer of fodry, an arm, and smacked all their motor, either Limerick as Cavan Guy. That's the first priority for the army, to control the Limerick to go out of the road. Limerick is key, and the only key that's changing the use of the wall. All those towns and the whole country, basically. right? I guess he's an act of the work of Jagura, Red and I Ray, Southwest Galway was. Uh, a lot of the IRA there were anti green okay? And uh, uh, they, there was a, a fair bit of activity early in the Civil War. Uh, one of them saw a guy from Forbo uh, kill the part of the Groen, as uh, the part of the Mariwa, as all the brave of Mariwa. He's a North Jagura, for any points here, and there they are. Got to lie down, let's play down, and they got to. Now, the Cuspoids defines. The boss, he ran, right? Uh, well, uh, um, uh, 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 I was supposed to squeeze it, I was Mario Comfort, a beer, even an arm, a beer, even beer stuff. Okay? Uh, the fir- uh, there was an awful lot of activity in South Galway in the early days of uh, the war because of the, 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 the government side of the Free State, the National Army, trying to control the, the, the Dublin Limerick, uh, at the Galway Limerick Road. And uh, in Gort, uh, uh, there, there was an attack on a Free State patrol and a, a guy from Forbo was killed, uh, as Ukrainian was his name, right? And there was controversy uh, regarding his funeral corvette afterwards. 
because the, the, the approach really to the entropy is like when you're talking to each other. And in indisputed circumstances, uh, a, 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 a poetry, you know, an army coming into the shop there, right? And it was, this was a, ma a massive issue. A lot of, an awful lot of, uh, a massive effort was made in terms of propaganda to use this against Republicans. It was kind of, it was a mutiny and so go away after, you know, go to the moment to fight, you don't know what happened, this kind of thing. It's impossible to say conclusively what happened because people on both sides, actually not given contradictory, uh, statements and information, but also people on both sides kind of backed up the other side's events. And the reality is, it all probably happened so quickly that nobody really knew what happened. Right? Um, I was my brain ship, my image of a ready garner, so brought in a color ship, a ready garner, right? And what's interesting on Patrick Rainey's tombstone isn't there is no implication of bleeding or even all it says is he died in God, right? Uh, you know, there's kind of there's and even military service, like, there's, there's no reference to it, like, it's, it's, it's not an important thing, it's just he died. Uh, or, or sorry, was killed, which is gonna uh, marry with a uh, couple of those of you, right? Um, and the this was a there was a major problem uh, throughout this period, particularly for the, 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 the army side, but also for the Republican side, to get the people to fight, to look at the fight, one of them famously said. Uh, that he couldn't get fellas to shoot the sailors. Fire above their heads, all right, they wouldn't shoot at them, right? Uh, and the other thing, the other thing issue was, uh, right, you couldn't, you couldn't get, you couldn't trust, if you're on the, on the, on the free state side, you couldn't trust the men under your command. Uh, and this is one of the issues, the reasons why, um, you know, there's, there's an influx of guys who've been in the ex, ex soldiers and the like, bring them into the army. British, the Irish regiments in the British Army were expanded and basically it was a full ten of guys with no money, no income, going back to the country. Soldiers have been taught. So they flood into it. And uh, it'd be too simple to say that, you know, uh, it might suit Republicans, it might suit fellas who people who are Republican and might free state and say, oh, well, there, there you go, that's the issue, that's why there's atrocities. Some of the worst offenders, offenders were ex IRA men. Uh, uh, another thing I should remember. Um, uh, just as I'm kind of mentioning that, uh, there's also an assumption that if somebody in your family was killed, let's say, that you went Republican, right? That's not true. And it's, again, that's the sort of stereotype that you see in all, all the areas of the uh, uh, in Like, for example, uh, Flood, one of the floods that were, as well, who was one of the officers that was involved in Valley City, right? His brother had been home in 1921, right? Frank Flood, and you hear talking about him, uh, student in UCD. Uh, that kind of thing, right? Uh, and the other thing about it, uh, it's interesting, I think as well, uh, you know, I, I haven't done enough things to figure out. I think that it depends on the nature of how the brother, the nephew, the whatever, uh, died. And I, I'm starting to, to come to the conclusion that families where a guy died in a, uh, as part of a, a unit or a unit of white men together, so where those areas tend to become free state and into the civil war. So Frank Flood was caught when an ambush was informed on him and uh, he was part of a group that was caught and executed together. Um, so I, I think there might be a connection with that as opposed to a one-off event of fellas that are still pretty secure here to take on the British. Now we're going to Mara, uh, Mikey Gagan, uh, or sorry, John Gagan, was not pulling that. So you go shoot us a half and you can be here and have to And if the Awins are taking on the whole thing in not pulling in 900 and with the smoke, it would be Winter Gagan for some of them. Right, so, John Gagan, for example, was shot in my pulling in 21. Uh, his brother and the family were pro treated, uh, even though the Canadian general says my pulling uh, uh, was anti treaty. Uh, the IRA was anti treaty, but the Gagans were either being in. So, it might have been through there or the kind of times mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the treaty. Now, Arnold Pierce said it's years ago, Arnold, uh, and you do um, the Hanshi to go home near Karun and I in Erichin, and near near Blackie Shell of Polomar. Okay, uh, in the year of our Kogi Heen, she got a quilt, she got a drama. I was uh, in the year of our Heen Fido, Gau Gerald Barrett. Okay, I was, um, I can option the uh, the the, the, the kind of niche phenomenon, the Gorky, the public calling. 
in a cry of agony. I hoist a dirty handkerchief and prepare to the spot. He is lying in the swamp, weltering in blood, his rifle beside him, death in his face. Shaw, no one needs our look at how much you can hear. His four companions, rather stupefied looking, are ob uh, ob obviously relieved by my advent. He is in shocking agony, fully conscious, can take holy communion, talks Irish. I have finished and know what to do with him. He cannot be left alone, uh, die alone in the marsh, it is too heavy for me even to turn. We cannot do anything, Father. If your accuracy or uniform is like snipe us all, there's a house for the yard for it. I look for assistance. Uh, yes, they will go with the priest, the old man, to let out to this one of them. And it's to go to the uh, front of all, right? Uh, now, um, should I run a door? Should I boss Morrison? He's Jamie. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, should I run the door? It's a uh, land development Jack Feeney. I was like, we all do a big earn your mag, right? So, should I keep public on it? Go was uh, Morrison and James. Prima, McDonough, and my lad, Stephen Litzer. Okay? Uh, the son, uh, Winston Camille. Uh, we got word in from the Marconi station that they had captured the barracks, but that 20 stater, staters had escaped from them. It was getting late in the evening then, and the place was, was on an awful wild mountain, so we didn't go out. A fellow named McDonough, bad pill from that area, was in charge of the station. And when he escaped, didn't he come on? Didn't he come on Morrison and James from Ballina for having their lunch? Didn't he shout hands up and shot one of their fingers as they put up their hands and then shot them dead and ran away? He was a notorious blackguard in Galway for his business. Okay, uh, uh, right. I guess I'm going to describe on Saga, right? I'm describing for Shaw Eganall, the Countess and Ahar Kelly, William Kelly down here. I show Pat Morrison, the Council of Pat Morrison. He, did, uh, he knows there's no hope for him. He is led all over, two fingers blown away, a bullet in the forearm, one in the shoulder, one in the thigh, one through the uh, small of the back. Yes, he thanks God for having got the rights of the church. How was Tom, uh, the dead companion, I think Tom James, that's my other right? Did I get him in time? Yes, they missed the main body and lost the way on the hill. Seven priest traders came on them, people uh, crawled around them. They shot me lying down yesterday, right? Uh, I was half good, point in all So we've we, we been here all, right? Um, so anyway, um, right? Uh, so she then come the hot team, a bro, uh, so, so go go car again here in the city. I was speaking to Tom with the one of a bow, an IRA, five. Okay? So so go go car again, a pop from all, so go work as a pack. Be smart, big an IRA, a white. Right? Shinhanic and Parham, or Sonic Jared, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be an IRA and on five of all the region. They could have been captured down. Right? I was hard as she insisted to attack from the day of Nadian. I shouldn't have a Jared. I was a chin, her Jared, she should not rule her again at her wide. Right? The rain, like bad, like gunny, like in a religion. It's a Jared here all. Egg a Jared, hook me Jared up and put the cargo. He should fuel in a shinny and she boosts in the creek. You know, must work on the wall. Right, like foxes and a group of that book, right? So the uh, the, the capture of Clifton is the uh, it's kind of it's one of the last occasions nationally where a town is captured by the by the area and it's there's, there's a kind of a decline in their military ability uh, as the period goes on. And as this goes on as well, that military ability discipline starts to break down, you see more violence against civilians and that kind of thing. Okay. Right, Nish uh Capo uh Peter McDonald uh Mark Tomford. Er, an IRA support quest. Colonel uh, Colonel uh, Mick Kilroy, Mar Mar um, uh, Mar Mar Canada, Chap Mar Canada, Aaron IRA is near her beginner off a Western command. Hagen McDonald and Gans a fourth Western. After the fear now, the inertia that parts of the margin but from McDonald and Nishan Skinny in Moyo. Okay, he's more he was more active than Mayo as he's appointed command commandant of the fourth Western. And there's, but there is some major activity. Um, I can find Tony Lawler. Right? Tony Lawler, and uh, she's working a right hand man like Sean McCall. But it's Hagen McCall, Lawler, she's a lot of the other. Hagen, she's for the uh, Moyo, uh, August. She's a job at the Egan Law on IRA Bridge. I mean, Lawler, my dear, three Martins, uh, his own uh, men and, and, the, and, and the Republicans, right? Um, actually, you know, like the 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 Iranian Republican or Lord, okay. Uh, I guess I feel wrong in this very ancient expression, right? I guess Hus 
Rosa and Lauren a sweet more as well. I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. First free. So if Lauren starts to be a massive sweep, this is new. Dominant personality, free state, uh, with Nicole in the, the West. Right. So uh, he starts basically driving the public, the public is telling from Mayo, just not to catch them, just break the morale. Right? I guess to run back to more and go here from Quayler Rural, right? So, particularly now, there's a major run back in kind of around the late November, December of 1922. Uh, I guess, uh, so, Mary, uh, uh, John Carter is a sergeant, or Hopper, he dealt with just a whole control. Here, Hydro is down the back in the parish legal. Uh, my turn, uh, we speak home in the Newton Bar, William Joyce, uh, uh, Sider, uh, my turn, and Eshin, right? So these massive sweeps. And William Joyce, uh, Sider, Derna, and my turn, and Mara. Just a priest disorder, he's shot the side with the Newton Bar. But again, it's just about moving, okay? getting the lads away. I guess. When I'm shot, really tight there, I think that you go car, but possibly, possibly, we're going to go there. Okay? Uh, <coughs> right? Uh, and uh, during this, this period of these massive sweeps, the morale has been bro broken. Uh, some Republicans begin to talk against the Right? I guess, uh, I guess, for example, an engineer from Australia, the Venom Mars Queen, is there or G as prime leader of Republicans to try and, uh, you know, get them to basically put an end to it. And uh uh Sweden is respected. But well, basically McDonald says we have orders, we're a military force, proper leadership, we we'll fight as long as they tell us to fight. Yeah. I've seen Congo probably more of the full card of aggression. You know, we're launched or up uh being looking enough chance that we grew up that and if we are up not being an EDP of three, it's low level stuff. It's just a train that it's just a year on road. It lasts in the same more, more uh, it's a it's low level activity really by the end of the same war. Uh, stuff um, uh, like spittle spittle houses burn, for example, uh, from towards the end, you know, disruption of uh, railway lines, you know, putting trains up on, on, on tracks and this kind of thing. Uh, it's, it, it's a nuisance thing more than any actual threat in the long run, stability of the state. Uh Lana Fine is the reason it's the reason all right, it's the reason all the file. Be tied and be confident in the reason. I guess me on Wharf the need to fit three, it's the other group more morning, three in the egg and third in the egg. A map is pleasing the guy, right? That's my own, that's Connemara, that's that of one, that's the good order, right? It is a jail break of the uh, go with jail, which is where the tactic uh, for any strangers, it's where the tactic of the teacher is, you know, the city, that's where the jail was. Uh, I guess on um, uh, components of the cool map, we're going to be the ship. Uh, they help on the inside, but they also help one of the organizers of other things. Agnes Cotter, Agnes Walsh, her husband would be taken from his pub shop in the War of Independence. Uh, 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 she gave massive support to the public throughout this period and afterwards, right? I guess Hopper Shishin Tango, we discussed with Brandon Chigar for Agnes Shishin Tango, beside her, that's the public line, she organized uh, contact between the Republicans and inside and a member of the garrison to help. And there was such suspicion of the loyalty of the garrison that I think something like 15 of them were arrested in the aftermath of the break. And the last guy that got out, they were they basically were spotted that this was happening. And the last guy that got out, uh, he was so excited uh, that he was going to get away that he jumped for the last bit. So he's on the rope and he jumps and the rope, rope flew back into the air uh, of the prison, right? And your man landed on his leg uh, and he broke it, right? So uh, he had to climb, climb in under a boat beside the mass. I had to climb in under a boat and he waited there for a day and a half, hobbled down to Agnes Watch and was, you know, looked after him and got, got away, right? But uh, as, uh, you know, um, one of the, the effects of that was there was a massive lads, a group of lads outside the, their prison cells, right? Uh, and they're all arrested, sent back to the cells and all that. And one of the guys who Got out of the cell, but wasn't out of the wall. It's a fellow called Seamus Amalia, the most raw. I guess Amalia, we should snare it, he's assassinated with Republican Searcher. We should have done an arm of their stuff, he's the IRA in Liverpool, due to join the, the National Army, the Peace Out Army, uh, when he came back to Ireland. He, you know, he went down home, met a few of the local lads, and said, No, 
know that I'm going to copy this again, right? Now, uh, in me, on me, I run. We're, we're up to April 1953. In me, I run easy to fit three. Go to and tire it near right? Then if I push more on it, you know what they're needed. So there's kind of a message goes out from Republican leadership in various areas of the West. One last push from the fence of the Republican, right? And only one area actually delivers the goods, right, for various reasons. And it's part of the ship. We're going to unseat our, our bag and arm, not be effort. Okay, and so that began as a difficult encounter here, unseat and arm, just came out, right? That's into the wall. Now, um, there was a, a rumor that guys who travel up from Ireland and America would be back in Ireland, not true or not, because it costs a lot of cars, right? A car. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Uh, it's not even fully sure how many uh, soldiers were killed in the attack in the three before of the three. One of them was a fellow from near Clifton called Thomas P. Right? So uh, then uh, that is that's kind of cut off, right? But anyway, uh, Mac and anyways, on part of the airship, go bundle us up. There are a couple of things you can borrow from those executions, right? Um, and there are a couple of things you can borrow. Go bundle us up, bring in Banamusa gas. The taxes are going to get the damp that's going to get the bottle of combo. The executions are used not just to make people with specific grievances against them, but also to intimidate the areas from which they came. So, Thresh for Unsu and Barrett and Aki, Toyo, Sheshiramach, Asabut Kinini, Gahar Nagari, six were taken over their cells. Near Kuru Kumbosh, the Gahar Nagari, the Bishop of the Kanjin, a four aspect Nagari boss. The Bishop of Gawai had died. But these fellows, Toygumach's priest and Gawai, Toygumach the Tumi, they got in the workhouse, right? Toygumach is at the mouth, the Tumi, the Sheshira Kabong, the Kahar Asangan, the Kayla, the Tinker Kahar Strand, right? The Kahar Asangan, the Tumi. The Drawer of the Tom McGuire on Christian. Tom McGuire was his commandary, he was just a priest, right? We have Rahor up. As the Kushel and Gan Maguire Hain and Bad, Gan Maguire Hain and Bad, it's not all of them. As you know, you're going to get a huffier light from our team at the ball, right? I guess, um, a lady that we all know, Seamus Moy, right? So, Kahu Seamus Moy, the Christian, right? I guess, Beijing Grand Pools, Grand Moy, the Fon Maw, uh, my other Grand Raw Fishing, but all, um, uh, Lads Connemara in Port of Bacon, okay? So the, the last major attack in the West occurs in Hedford, in you know, you know uh, and the reprisal, the media reprisal for that is the execution of six men in June. Four from the North Galway area, one from Mayo, the brother of Tom Maguire, the, the local mm -hmm. man, Geary, you know he's in prison now, mm -hmm. and the other one's Seamus Amara from Connemara, probably because of the that Connemara men have been involved in the attack on the barracks of Hedford. Head, okay? Now, Cable and how many derelict and trades? Uh, Narawari to Lean Lynch, how can Frank Aiken and Aganis, Aiken sauce the lower ace of the devil air, the devil air gear of Chief on the lab deal, right? The devil air gear of my derelict. And Aiken and devil air are basically, uh, devil air has been pushing for peace for a long time before this, right? Uh, Lynch wasn't willing to listen to it. Uh, listen to it. And oddly enough, Liam Lynch was actually supportive of the treaty first. And he saw the immediate, the immediate reaction was to the workers, right? How does Darish and I? Now, uh, George Dambrino won't be the Lynch to be in the monastery. Basically, the manager be Lynch no, no, uh, far on zero, right? Very, very straight, but just all with what you got. But he just said, no, we're right, we can't give up, right? That's it, so we have to keep the same thing on. It's symbolism in the, the idea of, like, is it Mellows, Hick Shaheen? Hick Mellows, Lee Mellows, Mahamra, their chat. Uh, like basically, we're custodians <laughs> of this thing. We don't want to give up. I ain't taking that. My near caption is just kind of what I wrote about. I think she's from Chicago, from Hubbard, and I. Now, of course, uh, then we triple it in the year. Now, come from the horror of Sonosha. Right? Now, Gro, Chicovishna, and Nishigan are the honey and ceasefire. We don't burn for order. Right? We have Mishna, and Nishigan are the Chicago, the Golomach. Put it, you know, put off. Put not for fear of revision. Uh, the Amy Falls, the lads, uh, the, the side ex soldiers who get them released, or even members of the army, uh, were involved in bank robberies, right? Taxing, taxing, right? 
Republicans uh, were, were involved in the facts and people. So for the Lord Furrigan folks, and then you had opportunities to bring them as an academic. So the Gwilor Lord Furrigan on had some harm uh on on harm to know nervous. Right, the army's nervous. We still have people who are jumping, we still have our men who are on the front, right? I guess uh Tongue the Hall in my shop. The real fucking is here shit. Rana uh Rana no uh forcing the rack and a rana sheet in a colour to be more you know uh more gram spray radicals. Right? So Irish colleges from the Warm Hands regarded this place as a uh spray incited, I suppose, uh, uh people to become more Republican, right? And be radicals and that kind of thing. It was the same to oddly enough to the Civil War for some of the army. So close to front of the close to the gate are uh close to the door brigade, right? Uh Brandy were not hard to be shit mark my fan be the spray like a fubble in I and R. Okay? So there's a there's tension in spittle between uh those who are involved in the Irish College and the military. Right? Where the military looked at them as people who are basically Republican, right? Wouldn't that fear if you read you read to public honor from the beginning of that not the public honor? I guess on after the vast hall of the spit of concentration publication for the car, right? No, uh uh after a one which is each that's here, right? Uh the moons are scudded, they're gonna mark the flag in this order. Right? I guess she's still I guess sweet sweet inside her lane. I guess worth to you, win you. Right? So uh in Spittle, uh a member of the army shot and wounded uh, uh a teacher who was attending an Irish court in Spittle. Uh she was Margaret Flair from the RNL right from the four. Uh and it was there was a, there was an awful lot of uh, uh violence by by the military at the time. By Republicans, people were nervous, people were jumping with guns. The fancy expression, uh, actually, the horrible evolution, um, he is just keen to kick it here of a horror. Okay, Rish, as you know, the horror that it's always far to be wrong, he should almost start to kick it here of a horror. And be fully certain what, what happened. What you could say was it was a problem with discipline in the military in Spill, right? Um, so, like, Mahabh, and after all, once you side, uh, once you move to Scotland, they're going to leave Lynch, uh, leave Savage, uh, it's a host, uh, the Sturts, and side of the actual wall that they're uh, you will suddenly need there. All right, so we cannot, we cannot spy on it with all of you. Uh, do, uh, you will divert, do over you will divert side your aim up to Matthias Cayley, I guess, now Carl Mackey to my other bearer, uh, the Sturts, then again, side you for any other, Jeffrey. Uh, before any other Kaylee would have taken place there, revenge would have been taken. Right? Uh, Rinna, Lockton College, the Rinna Shibir on the Sidery, I guess the general attitude of antagonism to the college on par with the military. Aaron Law Vele, right, Norman T. Vele, being Parm, Dorsen Parm, Ron Collister, poisoning the minds of the inhabitants against the government. I guess the saga to be suspected they can all, Parm off the other hand. He was. Uh, the parish priest is not an active or regular, but he is anti military. Right? So, anyway, for the latest block, Leah, the band of Port of Dover. This is controversy. So, Port Connor is an Irish speaker from Dublin, uh, and he's sent down by the army to try and sort this out, or rather, this not. Because uh, it's his report on the, on the whole thing was, uh, it was a brilliant of, it was a brilliant piece of uh, picking institu- the institution for getting that at the problem at the same time. The ones that were in the church and all, uh, Connor's added, uh, report was basically, oh, the army done nothing wrong, but it might be better to transfer them all out of it and uh, put in Irish speakers. Right? I guess, uh, Tongue the Giron, the Tongue the Giron, and the Egan Gullet and all, when he smoothed up her dimple, a, 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 an arm, don't play against a gander, and we'll be dimple, a, a Natanz, it was an RSE, uh, British, right? Um, rather, the spit of Anna Shuffy, right? Uh, to know a bit of all of the, um, uh, so, so Tracia should freshen be fat this more than I am flexing, right? Uh, I would be aimly freshen to put some raw, uh, Lujo, uh, Lujo, the number all, right? Uh, you mentioned the women from Common Man and, and, uh, and the Republican side, but also in, in the Free State side. It was also sort of, sort of a real fear of there was a general collapse in standards, lack of respect for property. Uh, don't forget. As well, this is a period where you know young people were ordering around old people, poor were ordering around the better off, women were ordering around men, uh, all this, all 
this kind of stuff. So the club, like in a backlash, and I know it's usually look the Lord of the Hippie in the air, and it's coming really more and not quite simple. Like something that's all really in the shock on from the professional law. Uh, be doing this in EDP3, the power on, right? So talking to Irish and Google Cars, the option is power on, and it's an appraisal, you shouldn't know it's the me, the height, the height, right? So me doing this in EDP3, the power on, and the lock, yeah. Uh, as a telephone, it's a serious stuff, right? Uh, I guess uh, there's there's a uh, there's an election, and it, it's the election's kind of been used to sort of reestablish the legitimacy of the free state, right? And there's it occurs in August of 1923. Now, bear in mind, Republicans are on the run, they're in jail, they're broke, uh, they're in physical danger, you know, of arrest, of course. Uh, I guess on the other. Uh, uh, I guess on uh, well, the other side, there's a foundation in rural areas, this kind of stuff, right? But anyway, uh, so the Republicans have, I think it's 27% of the vote, which is a massive vote. Uh, um, uh, so then they're going to go to Drama, go to Mara, go to Eva, go to Mara, go to Sopra, go to Colum Aguirre, right? So how many Colum Aguirre gives you in Spidel? I guess, 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 I he re he reiterated sorry he re reiterated, uh, reiterated all the stereotypical debt for the sauna stuff that forms the stock and trade of the Mary McSweeney quarter. All right, uh, shen kolam away at speech up. I'm talking to Rudy Moore before in the air tennis of the No, not much. Uh, points from the mark so. Uh, um, you should look out for. And the man in charge there, Crystal McCarty, uh, a clear man originally. Anyway, uh, he came down to talk to me about it and he said, uh, 
I know there's nobody living who can remember anything about it, but I'm interested in stories about, about that period. And I gave him three quarters of an hour on tape. Now, I'm not going to start that, but uh, uh, a few things, a few things uh, that came up there. Uh, Colm O'Quir was my grand uncle. He was in charge of, of the IRA in, in our area, and he was in charge of the Republicans in East, East Connemara mm. yeah, later, yeah. Yeah. during the Civil War. Okay, that election you mentioned in 23 is very, very relevant, I think. Here there were 10,000 in jails. Uh, the, the bishops against them completely, the newspapers against them, the whole works. And there was a big debate on whether they should go forward at all in the election, you know, that it was a waste of time. And they decided, well, we will. And they did. And Colm O'Bear was one of the people nominated. And he went within 135 votes, I think, of being elected a TD. Subsequently, General Battery took his place, but that's another story. But uh, he had to go to America because he wouldn't take the, the oath of allegiance to the Sea Free State. But anyway, uh, he didn't get the transfers from Galway, which is always difficult, as I know, uh, out from Galway to Clamart, anyway. Uh, I was brought up in that that anti 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 free state thing because of my mother kept talking about it until she died, and she could read off the members of the flying column until she closed her eyes. You know, it was wonderful stuff for, for us. Uh, and her, her line in it was very simple. Ah, sure, Lama, the free staters were worse than the black and tans. You know? And then we'd say, well, what were the free staters doing? Ah, they were on the side of England, of course. And I read the other day, uh, this was the simple idea, but uh, maybe not so simple. Uh, I read uh, Dear McFerriter's book the other day, and he says, uh, Muriel McSweeney was speaking in, 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 uh, in, in Washington, uh, during the Civil War, you know, propaganda effort by the Republicans. And she said, uh, this was uh, Thomas McSweeney's way, uh, she, she said, uh, it's not a civil war in Ireland, it's a question of a certain number of Irish people siding with the Brits, siding with the British. You know, so I was brought up in that, uh, that, that task. Uh, uh, no, not everybody, not everybody, well, I, I go to that, two, two more, little stories that creep up when you start thinking back. Uh, the Greenie fellow who was yeah. shot. No, when I was in Galway County Council, I had a good friend there, uh, Thomas O'Curry, Tom Curran. Now, Tom Curran is a pure Republican. Sinn Féin isn't radical enough for himself. So he went to uh, Rory O'Brady, a, a, a fine man, a good man. But one day, we were talking about these things, and I said, there was a fellow, oh, he says, I was related to that fellow, really. Well, he says, Tom, no, I don't know, was it the Tans or the Free State that shot him? And I went and did a little bit of research and came back, and Tom says, I, not the Tans, not Free State, he was a Free Stater. Tom was very disappointed. That he, didn't tell you. <laughs> very, 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 he kept shaking his head. Joe, I've never been attacked. <laughs> but I, I went to visit the, uh, I went to visit the, uh, the grave here. Uh, he was a young fellow. Yeah, 20 something. Yeah. You know, all, all these tragedies. Uh, another little snippet. Uh, not, as you said there, not all people went with the Civil War, one side or the other. There was a a pub, uh, uh, what's the pub, uh, uh, a poll uh, yeah. some time back of people who had been in the GPO, right? And they took, they took them and they asked them, how did you go on the, 40% of them said, we didn't bother. Yeah. They didn't, they, did, they, did, they, they didn't bother, you know? So you had that, these people as well. Now, as I said, my mother kept talking about these things and all, oh, free staters and all that kind of thing. My father had no interest whatsoever in the in, in that. And he kept walking away. And uh, in 1922, life was going on for ordinary people. And he was on his way 
to Glasgow to, to work in the shipyards in Glasgow at the age of 22. And he was coming along near Rossmuck, walking in the morning to make the train in Mount Cross. We had a train at Mount Cross that time uh, to get the train in Mount Cross early morning. Stopped by the Free State Army, or Free State Soldiers, at least. Up against the wall, you know, the usual three lads at early in the morning, like suspicious. And uh, they, they set them up and, they, you know, where are you going? What's, what's happening? So on and so forth. And uh, anyway, they let them go after a while. But uh, I said, Dad, were you afraid? We, as children, we used to ask. No, he said. The only thing I was afraid of that day was that I'd take the chew of tobacco I had inside in my, in my vest. That was his interest in the Civil War. You know, my mother and I couldn't understand this. Of course, he married my mother, who was Colm O'Hara's niece, uh, some years later. So we had an interesting, you know, like other families around the country, idea, insight of, of what was happening. Less, less story now. Uh, my my cousin Pierce O'Hara, Colm O'Hara's son, didn't like a story like this. His line always was, oh, the Republicans were very organized and they were very well, you know, set up. And you, you, you couldn't tell him a story about something that was, wasn't up to scratch, you know, the Republicans. Are. But at that time, Connemara was held, as you mentioned, by the, uh, by the Republicans, you know. At a quality level, at least, but a long way. And they had a, they had a pass, a uh, Republican pass. And uh, they had taken over Screed Lodge out there near us. Do you know where Screed Lodge is? Uh, and uh, they, they were there, the Republicans. And uh, whoever was in charge uh, said, said uh, OK, he said to one of the volunteers, Go out to the corner there at the, at the crossroads, and if any car comes up, water car comes up, look for the the, the pass, the public pass. So your man went out, they gave him a gun and everything, you know, whatever, and off he went over. And uh, not many cars were coming up that road at that stage. But my God, he wasn't lying there until the car came up. And an elderly couple, Anglo Irish type couple, you know. And uh, they were scared stiff when they saw this volunteer, of course, uh, 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 and the gun. And they said, uh, he said, have you got the pass? Have you got the Republican pass? And she, he, she went, oh, give him, give him the pass, give him the pass, give him the pass. You know, and so he did. And uh, as the woman who told me the story later from the smoke said, that, that pass might, might have been upside down for all he knew about it. But he had a look at it anyway. He said, that's okay. And then he says, where are you going? And they said, we're going to a Peacock's uh, place, which is a pub in Mount Cross. And he says, I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> Into the car. And off. Off to Peacock's. Comes back very merry. <laughs> and... Uh, I said to the woman, and what happened then? Ah, for God's sake, she says, Porikin, Porikin from, 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 from Eniru. You can hardly shoot him. <laughs> but I tell you, he says, the services to the Republic were over. <laughs> that day forward. I told this to Pedro so and he didn't enjoy it. By the way, just to finish, on, the, on my father's, uh, when he was questioned, and this is interesting though, and we said to him, well, what were they looking for? Oh, they were looking for Colm O'Hare, of course, he said. And, uh, oh, my God, they were, he says. We were questioned upside down about him. And had they caught him? And he says, this, this is an Irish now. I try to translate it. He was seal fatal male wicked, not That we should be in Washington. His life wouldn't be worth a potato in a pig's mouth. <laughs> if, if, had they caught him that day? No. She said, he said... The man in charge, she says, was from Clymer. Okay. That was the man killed up near Clifton later. You know? I think so, because I talked to a Republican-minded yeah. man from from, Bolling, from Clymer. He says, surely the same man. He says, they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't be the second person with 
any kind of rat community, you know, in in, in priestly Germany. So when my father used to say, really, he says, I wish we could meet him after the Civil War somewhere, you know, they didn't like it. And a lot of that, a lot of that continued abroad, especially in, in America afterwards. People were thrown out buildings and stuff like that. Stuff happened after the Civil War, you know. Spites were kept up. Can I ask a brief question, please? The, was there ever any attempt in the years following 23 for any government in place or any opposition in place or indeed any organization to investigate or, or find redress for, for atrocities that would have taken place? Um, no, not really. And I, 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 I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. Right? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, and basically, uh, firstly, when uh, Fianna Fáil were coming into power in 32, right? uh, just before they gave it to power, I mean, it was rumours of a coup and there was some fellas in the army and the guards talking about it like so uh, but basically they were they literally they went into um, you know into the barracks yard just threw bundles of files onto onto bonfire like just to make sure that the you know the attempt was made that nobody could be implicated by any whatever but units um, uh, that was that was one thing uh, basically um, Fianna Fáil's policy in the 30s was basically to try and uh, instead of going after guys who'd been free state, what they did was they gave pensions and jobs to Republicans. And they also as well, to be fair, they looked after expert soldiers as well. Uh, it was this kind of just way of kind of, you know, taking maybe some of the sting out of other yeah. things. Now, uh, Duffy was kind of pushed, uh, pushed aside. But other than that, not really. Uh, and there was rumour that uh, that the reason that happened, whether it's true or not, was that it was not the Valera of Sean Lamass that was pushing that. Because remember that Sean Lamass's brother Noel had been killed after the end of the Civil War. And I don't know how true, how, how true that is, but that was kind of one of the rumors. But even like fellas like Dave Nelligan, who'd been accused by Republicans of torture and prisoners and carrying the like, uh, he basically got a sideways transfer, transfer into a dead end job within the civil service. Where he wasn't going to suffer financially, but at the same time, uh, they, um, you know, he, he was just wanted, he wasn't going to go anywhere. I mean, he wasn't even, I don't think he was even told what his job description was. He was sitting there, you know, oh. counting cracks in his email. Like. Uh, the other thing as well is, like, 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 they fought once of a war. There was trouble with the blue shirts and the IRA. There was another potential one. Mm -hmm. Also, as well, like, at some point in the future, coming away or coming away, they were going to come, come back into power. Yeah. And, it was effectively not quite. Some Republicans got uh, uh, got prison sentences. For what what happened after the end of the Civil War, or certain types of crime towards the end of the Civil War? But essentially, like you would, you know, if you were on the Republican side, once you were released out of jail, twenty three or twenty four, depending on your level of activity, that was kind of it as well. You know, so it was it, it'd been opening up a can of worms, like that kind of nobody really wanted to put on their face, like you know. Um, um, so that's kind of that's kind of been wrong, right? Right, right. Now, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that uh, yeah. sure Frank Flood was signed by the 21, and his mm. brother went to Pro Treaty. Yeah. He was in the priesthood. Yeah. He was by the sea. Yeah. That man, I think, went on to come in a special branch around 1970 when the Arab Press was going. Yeah. Because I worked with his I worked with his son, uh, who stood around. Yeah. Uh, and he said that he was going to write a book about the book, and I wrote that book. Yeah. But the thing is as well, we're kind of we're kind of trying to forget like first off, civil war, any war, any war is great. You know, like as in you know, and like the other thing that we like these guys would say, like flood there, flood was in the nineteen kind of like you know, like they were young and experienced and they uh you know you know, people talk about even the last column of the delivery and what to do with it like Kind of like, you know, an army thrown together, right? Uh, you know, lack of military training, you know, lad months behind maybe on pain, you know, conditions, you know, all, all this kind of stuff, bending to poor discipline, you know, uh, in, in, in the military. And, and with the, those lads thrown like, if you look at what they, uh, you know, squad, that group of people around Collins, uh, they were shown severe, like, Really obvious signs of PTSD well before the Civil War. Um, and then, you know, uh, if you look, and if, in terms of Bally CD, look what happens. Collins is killed, 
find heart in the seriously wounded in in in, uh, in, um, in Tipperary. Kyo is 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 is, uh, is shot in, or is blown up in in Cork. Like you know, there's you know, within a very small group of people, there's a massive amount of suffering and casualties suffered, and then you know that just kind of sometimes you'd, you'd be looking at some some of it going, how did they settle down afterwards? A few men and people going after each other, but you know when you think of well, Higgins is shot, right? Uh, but there's very little real, um, you know, vengeance yeah. to text around. Around uh, that. Yeah. There was a fellow called Jack Kyo from East Galway. He was kind of one of these fellas that came, come, came to the fore, you know, and, you know, kind of a, the local leadership kind of gets pushed, a little, pushed aside or go pro treaty. And, you know, the bunch of lads that, you know, in areas that hadn't really done a lot, all of a sudden, the normal penance all of a sudden become more active. Mm -hmm. And Kyo was, I think, was shot and wounded in Chicago or something like <laughs> that. Kind of was, Supposedly down to civil war stuff, and where like, there was a, there was an indication or suspicion that he had he smashed up two groups of teams, and then make a be connected to that rather than strictly political. Uh, to you know. but probably there was other organisations as well. But it was like the GAA. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons for that, the clause were no part, no part of political activity. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. The, yeah. The, the yeah. Like, yeah. Come together, basically. Yeah. 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 yeah, and there's a great story. There was um, Brosnan. Tom Brosnan was a free state. Leading couple in Ireland, Kerry, and then uh, John Joshidi she was uh, an IRA man on the run. He right. was a leading couple, and he was still on the run right. uh, after the Civil War. And they used to uh, uh, for matches. Um, the arrangement was for a half an hour before the game and half an hour after the game. Rosen wouldn't arrest she. If you saw afterwards, uh, this is a Kerry solution to Kerry Ross. Right? Uh, if you saw afterwards, uh, it was a free for all again, like, you know. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Uh, well, little factor now. Uh, little factor. Uh, Margaret Flaherty. And you heard of the Lord the Lord of 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 the the Lord of the Lord of the Lord of the Lord of the Lord มีสมสติเนี่ยสตอฮิกรบานุสิสนอชอะไรแลดิบิกอร์ตีแลดิบิกอร์ก็บอกเนี่ยว่าเนี่ยเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
which is a list that was it in the in the thirties, we're just talking about price members of the, uh, the IRA in the thirties, uh, for reasons of pensions, for reasons of just historic the record, uh, basically uh, they began to compile a list of fellas uh, who were in the IRA. Uh, there's some work done on the common one, some work done on the fee on that, but it's very busy, right? Uh, it was also diff more difficult to sort of to say common law, for example, if you compile the list, uh, like we say, an awful lot of women and men did that kind of work, but they were never a member of any, you know, it's sort of, you know, the, the line that divides it isn't, isn't as much. But basically, um, in the first it was to compile these lists of fellas, you know, were you active or were you involved in the first, on the 11th of July, time of the truth, 1921, or were you, were you uh, there in um, 1922 on the first of, Ju the first of July? That was two dates that were picked. Now, an awful lot of it is just sort of symbolic. You know, you know kind of, well, yeah, he was going to the parades and you know, this kind of thing. But uh, I think uh, the numbers involved will be small. The numbers oh, yeah. involved across the country will be very small. Uh, but um, there's various different reasons for that. Politics is one. But even things like that, a Protestant in Belfast uh, was asked, um, why didn't you join it? Originally, or something along those lines, and goes, I didn't know anybody that was a Protestant, you know, you know, that, you know, that kind, of, kind of thing. But, uh, but the other thing as well, uh, is that, um, one of the things that, uh, I, I did, I just finished a book on the Civil War, and one of the things I did was I looked at the guards and the, you know, the, the, the register of the guards, uh, joining, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in, in 1922, 23, 24. That's, Survives and actually, the army didn't record who was a volunteer before this, but the guards did, right? To give you some sort of idea of uh, who was who, uh, who was who had been involved in revolt. Okay, right. I have to stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he'd continue for yeah. two hours more. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but don't bother you, carry over. We don't need to do that. Not too soon. I could do my part if I was as well. Yeah. 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 We leave it. Yeah. Leave it. Uh, one of the things which has nothing to do with the civil war is clock war or I think we have discovered the clock war. The stone, the famous stone down near near uh, near Cotnagafu on the way down to Bale. Is it? Uh, yeah. And years gone by. Uh, pe people who, who considered themselves to be strong men would go along to a certain stone in the village and try to lift it. And there's an article which I was reading the other day by a man by the name of Heffernan, who's in um, Ulster University, and he talks about it that this was a custom in Ireland, Scotland, Iceland as well. But this stone is out there. And uh, Nemo Flaherty wrote, uh, wrote a short story about it. This stone, it is called. So obviously based on, on, on that. We'll have to get that. And Jenny says we'll read it at the stone next year if we're alive. Uh, we will. Uh, so it's a kind of a, 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 an interesting thing. I was asking a lady at home, uh, did you ever hear of this thing of uh, strong men going along? Oh, yes, she says. Uh, Tom Thomas Rule was up there, there was a stone on the way in to, to, to cash it there at the crossroads, he said, she said. And he lifted it, and the stone fell down and broke into two halves. And the other people who were around the place couldn't even lift the half. The two halves. But, uh, anyways, uh, Okay. <laughs> We will to grow our a gay 
mach willi we adoro wazinut go manom lo qlar